Have you ever thought about what it would be like to live longer and with a higher quality of life? And have you ever wondered what the Japanese secret to longevity is? Immersed in the frenetic pace of modern life, we often find ourselves running relentlessly towards an uncertain future, neglecting the precious gift of the present. And in this race against time, our physical health and our emotional well-being are at the expense. While in Japan, the number of centenarians who reach this milestone in good health and in good spirits is growing more and more. In this Zen story, we will explore the secrets of longevity and happiness, learning from the ancient sages who walked this path before us. Thanks to this journey steeped in wisdom and mystery, you will receive precious teachings that will allow you to live in a more authentic and fulfilling way. So, stay until the end. But before continuing, if you are not yet among us, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to be informed when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. In the dim light of the Buddhist temple, where the scent of incense danced in the air and the silence was broken only by the whispering of the meditating monks, the elderly monk Nagi was preparing for his lesson. In front of him, a group of European disciples who have come from distant lands, eager to discover the secret of the longevity and happiness of Japanese monks. Master Nagi, one of the disciples asked fervently, we know that in different areas of Japan people live long and fulfilling lives, full of wisdom and serenity. What is your secret? The old monk smiled slightly, Carefully scrutinizing the faces of his listeners, longevity is the fruit of a harmonious balance between body, mind, and spirit that requires attention and discipline, he replied in a calm voice. Then he closed his eyes for a moment, breathing deeply, and continued, imagine the body as a garden. If you do not look after it carefully, letting weeds grow unchecked, it will soon be overrun by disease and discomfort. But if you nourish it with love and care, planting seeds of health and joy, then it will flourish and you will be able to enjoy its fruits for a long time. Know that the secret of longevity in Japan lies in the combination of cultural, social, environmental, and behavioral factors. We cannot reproduce the Japanese way of life completely and everywhere, he said calmly. However, he continued, we can draw many lessons from this lifestyle and apply them wherever we live to improve our health and life expectancy. The disciples nodded, understanding the depth of the master's words and prepared to listen to his most profound teachings. The Japanese diet is an example of how nutrition can influence our health and well-being, Naji continued, drawing the disciples' attention to this important aspect. Japanese cuisine is based on fresh, natural, and unprocessed foods. Regular consumption of rice, fish, fruit, vegetables, and green tea provides the body with a wide range of nutrients vitamins, and antioxidants, which are essential for preventing chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. But there is something deeper behind all this. The monk continued with a penetrating gaze. It's the attitude towards food that makes the difference. Eating is not only a physical necessity, but also an opportunity to nourish the soul and cultivate gratitude. The Japanese diet is a shining example of this philosophy, the monk continued. Based on fresh, natural, and unprocessed foods, it teaches us to respect food and appreciate every bite as a precious gift from nature. Nagi held up a small ceramic container containing cooked rice and showed it to his disciples with reverence. Look at this rice, he said in a soft voice, it is not just food for the body, but nourishment for the soul. Each grain contains within itself the wisdom of the fields, the generosity of the earth, and the work of human hands. Eating with gratitude and awareness is an act of reverence towards life itself. When we feed ourselves with gratitude, 
Nike concluded, slowly lowering the container of rice. We not only nourish our bodies, but also our spirits. And in this simple gesture, we find a key to a longer, happier life. With these words, the monk Nike stopped, letting his wisdom penetrate deeply into the minds of his disciples, ready to follow the path to a fuller and more meaningful life, nourishing their being with every morsel of food and with every breath of gratitude. Remember that eating with gratitude and awareness, nourishing not only the body but also the spirit, is essential if we want to achieve emotional and mental balance. The disciples nodded, reflecting on the words of the wise monk. It was clear that longevity did not just depend on what one ate, but also on how one related to life and oneself. And still regarding nutrition, Nagi revealed another secret. Shikawasa, a small lemon of which the village of Ajimi is the largest producer and which many in Japan eat with pleasure. This fruit has anti-inflammatory properties, therefore it is one of the natural antibiotics thanks to which we can strengthen our body's self-healing power. Active lifestyle is another key element, Naji continued, emphasizing the importance of exercise and promoting longevity. Despite their advanced age, many people in Japan remain active and engaged in their daily lives. Walking extensively is normal for many Japanese, and cycling is a very common means of transportation. Additionally, many people practice physical activities such as Tai Chi or Kaigong to maintain a good level of fitness and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. As the European disciples listened intently and pondered how to apply certain lessons, Naji continued, maintaining mental health is equally crucial. The practice of meditation, yoga, and other forms of self-improvement are common in Japan and Japanese culture promotes collaboration and social cohesion, reducing stress and improving mental health. Another important aspect, although not linked to wisdom, which favors a certain longevity, added the monk, is the healthcare system which is among the best in the world. With universal access to health services and a strong culture of disease prevention, the Japanese are able to prevent or treat diseases at an early stage, making medical conditions more manageable and treatable. Dear European disciples, allow me to share with you a fundamental principle that characterizes our life here in Japan, the importance of social cohesion for longevity. In this country, our community is like a big family where everyone takes care of others and shares joys and sorrows. And this social cohesion is a pillar of our culture, an anchor of stability and support that accompanies us along the path of life. Consider that several scientific studies have also shown that a strong sense of belonging and a solid social network can positively influence our health and well-being. Sharing experiences and having people who support us in difficult times have a profound impact on our mental, emotional, and spiritual health. When we feel part of a supportive community, we are more inclined to take care of ourselves and others. We feel less alone and more motivated to pursue a healthy lifestyle and seek well-being in all its forms. Additionally, Social cohesion can help reduce stress and anxiety, which are risk factors for many chronic diseases. And for this reason, in these parts, there are fewer people who suffer from these problems. In Japan, older people often enjoy good health and live long lives thanks to the strength of family and community ties. Group activities, shared rituals and traditions that promote social inclusion are an integral part of our daily lives. So, my dear disciples, I invite you to appreciate the value of social cohesion and to seek to cultivate meaningful relationships in your life. Whether it's with your family, friends, or community, remember that mutual support and love are key to a long, healthy, and happy life. Now that you have understood the secrets of longevity and happiness, 
He said in a calm but firm voice, I want to share with you three precious tips for cultivating a life full of meaning and joy, both physically and spiritually. First, cultivate gratitude. Every day, take a moment to reflect on what you have and all the blessings life has given you. Second, Naji continued, live mindfully. Be present in the present moment, appreciating every moment of your life. And finally, cultivate love and compassion. Be kind to yourself and others.